In this presentation, we'll be covering the radiographic positioning for the orbits in the optic foramina. A typical routine would include these positions. The parietal orbital oblique, or Reis view, the parieto canthial Waters view, and the PA axial or exaggerated Caldwell view. Occasionally, we add an extra view, the modified parieto canthial or modified Waters position. For the parieto canthial oblique method, or the Reese method, bilateral projections are usually taken for comparison. Keep the CR perpendicular to the downside orbit and rotate the MSP 53 degrees to the IR from a lateral position. If you're beginning your positioning for this view with the patient in a PA position, you only need to rotate the head 37 degrees from the CR towards the site of interest. Keep the AML perpendicular to the IR. This view should project the optic foramen in the lower outer quadrant. Close collimation with optimal exposure factors are required for high contrast imaging required to visualize the optic foramen. The Waters view shares the same positioning as other Waters views covered this semester. Place the MSP and MML perpendicular to the IR. They should cause the OML to form a 37 degree angle with the IR. Center through mid orbits, preferably upright in case there may be an air fluid visualization of the sinuses. Petrous ridges should be projected below the maxillary sinuses. This view best demonstrates the superior orbital margin. The PA axial view, or exaggerated Caldwell, places the patient in the same position as other Caldwell views discussed. The OML should still be perpendicular to the IR by placing the forehead and nose against it. The MSP should also be perpendicular to the IR. For the central ray to be exaggerated for this view, angle 30 degrees caudal, exiting mid-orbits, or 3 quarters of an inch distal to the nasion. The increased angulation for this view compared to other Caldwell views places the petrous ridges below the orbits and prevents superimposition of the ridges over the pertinent anatomy. For the modified Waters view of the orbits, this view is not always performed but will effectively evaluate the inferior orbital ridge better than the other views. Start by placing the MSP and the acanthiomeatal line perpendicular to the IR. The AML is typically perpendicular when the nose and chin are resting on the IR. Direct the central ray through mid-orbits. You can collimate to the orbits for this view, as the petrous ridges will be projected in the lower third of the maxillary sinuses.